friends, she lose friends. Yeah. And so much. We just can you like share with us so far your experiences? Uh -huh. Are you married? I don't know. No, I'm not married. So, uh, you know, it depends on what you're looking for. Okay, let's say maybe if you're somebody who you're looking for money, when you get famous, maybe you might use the fame to get more money. If you're looking for girls, when you get famous, you use the fame to get more girls. Whatever you're looking for. So at the end of the day, I believe it's what the person is looking for. But sometimes you don't have to look for it, it will come your way. Yes, if you're not looking for it and it comes, it doesn't mean anything because you're not looking for it. You get it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and also like... Um, you know, so like, yeah, so, I mean, the same way it comes with a lot of good things, it comes with a lot of bad things too, right? You get a lot of, like, free, I mean, um, offers and all that, but that doesn't mean that she just because you're famous, you should take advantage of that and give it to you, really, because as good as it is, it's evil also, right? It can it can actually help you to get to a certain level, it can bring you down really fast, right? So it's something that you have to really be controlling, right? Your fame, you have to control, you have to be a strong mental person to be able to control fame. So it's not just something that you just have to jump into it and be enjoying it and just be misbehaving and then because you're famous then you start talking to other girls or because you're famous you start talking to people anyhow. You have to still plan yourself and know your standards know your limits, know what you can do and what you can do, what you can take and what you can't take and always have to be true to yourself. Right? Has it brought you any problems so far? Well, a lot of problems, like, you know. Is that what the girl's side? Charlie, tell me advice we all do. They see the talk, they have problems. Is that what the girl's side? I learned it from what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, with the girl's side, okay, you know, it's always gonna come, right? Um, it's not something that I'll say like it's bad, you know, it's not so bad, but it makes you still meet a lot of people, right? Maybe somebody can come to you with a, an intention of maybe having something to do with you, okay. and you can actually make it turn out good, right? Because you have to know that it's not everybody that you can have, okay. and it's not everybody that can have you. So with the girl side, it's not really a good example. Example. Yeah, he was an example. Yeah. We experienced. <laughs> 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 I remember I saw your I saw your stand up tent. Did yeah. you encounter anything? The girls didn't move to you. You didn't go and sleep in anybody's room after. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, the girls come with the work, you know. Girls, me, the reason why a lot of people think that I have a lot of girls clientele now, like my clientele of um, females and more now is growing so fast that most people think that I'm having something to do with most girls, but it's not really that. What happens but is some. that no, what happens is that you see with girls, right? Let me tell you something, bro. With girls, girls promote businesses. Yeah. Girls promote everything, right? So if you find yourself having a lot of girls liking what you're doing, then you should see that you're on a good path. Okay. Okay? Let's say for instance, if uh girls if if if, <laughs> if like let's say if I cut my brother say right, my brother will definitely give me like just boys around him. <laughs> Okay, no, look at it. Charlie, let's start doing So, he will give me boys around him. That's the most they will do. Yeah. Guys don't talk about other guys. Like, yeah. you who cut your hair, oh, my boy, Nate, yeah, that's all, you're done. But if you ask a girl, oh, who did you hear? Oh, my God, it's Nate. Let me show you his page. It's really good. I can give you his number. It's that. So, girls promote businesses. Right? That's why I put, like, I focus on girls sometimes more when in terms of, like, social media and all that. Because mm -hmm. girls push businesses than guys. Guys don't talk about other guys plenty. So, I say that there's nothing more. I mean, it comes with the benefits, like, <laughs> I mean, there's good and there's bad. I mean, sometimes you can't be saying that, oh, you know, because you don't know who you're going to marry. Maybe you might marry from meeting somebody from the barber shop. You might marry from meeting somebody at their stand-up pants, you know, and it's just beautiful to have women in your business or, I mean, patronizing your service. It's one of the best. I mean, you've never brought your problems to I mean, that's why you have to be strong mentally. You have to know what to control. You get a problem like, the girl likes you, you like the girl too. So they like you. Oh, maybe they like you. I'm not saying some girls might like you. You know? They may ask the question, say, so some bring you problem. No. You don't answer that. No. I don't want to have any problem like that. Any girl problem. You don't have any girl problem. It's like being bad in life. No, I promise. I mean, 
I don't think that could, what would she do? Would she come and beat you or and one thing with one thing, one advice I want to give people who are in business is like, okay, so one thing you shouldn't do is like um what's the name? Having a uh, affair with your business partners or your clientele or maybe your clients, especially your female clients when you're a guy. What that does is that it slows your business, right? Because like if if, if if you have an affair with a person, the next time the person wanna come then there is some feeling or the person doesn't even want to come because like you guys have had a thing so it's kind of like so that means you've lost a client so if you have a thing to do with all your clients that means you're slowing your business but some girls don't even mind yeah some she girls just, don't she's just having fun and then pain as well yeah she's just having fun and pain i mean if, if the person is having fun and pain that one is a good business <laughs> <laughs> right if That's most some. girls most girls as soon as you have a thing with them that means like now it's a free service and and and, and to, to to maintain a business you can't be doing free service. You get it? Because like, even if you know the person, right, you need to run a business, you need to pay employees, you need to pay utilities, you need to pay taxes, you need to pay all those stuff. So if you're doing a free business, just based on the fact that you just want to have fun with your client, right, because they are giving themselves to you for free because of your fame, then that means you have to know that after some time you're going to lose a business because then there will be no revenue for the business because you're sleeping with almost all your clients. So that's one thing that I always like try to advise a lot of uh, my employees, my friends that are in business and that okay, you know you know how to handle your girls you get in terms of because they will be the one to push you. So if you're sleeping with them, they can't push you because then they have a feeling. 